Greetings, class of 2020. Congratulations. It is not a practice for the principal at any campus to speak at a UE graduation function. However, after the events of last week, and I, I speak here of what many are calling Capital Wednesday, I am moved to make a few brief comments. Before doing so, I take the opportunity to say thanks to all who made this day of celebration possible, particularly to the campus registrar and her team on the graduation committee who have been working tirelessly for months to put together this very first virtual graduation ceremony at UWE and St. Augustine. You are graduates of the UWI in a truly historic time. You came through even as the long drought of a recession came to the fore in the years preceding the pandemic and continues to this day. You persevered in continuing your studies during the lockdown, even as staff and students alike struggle to engage in teaching and learning online. It seems to me that you have the metal of the kind of citizen our nations need at this point in time. Indeed, your participation in the online delivery makes you pioneers for a new UE, a target that we have been shaping for all the years of my tenure as principal. I thank you. I close by again reminding you that as graduates of the UWI, you are the beneficiaries of a public spend that covered some 80% of what it costs to educate you. I repeat my plea to you to use your experience, not just to develop yourself in your chosen careers, but even as you do so, that you do all that you can to continue the fight of forming society that better addresses the problems we face today. We cannot survive without land, without air or water. Yours then is the collective challenge of addressing the issue of preservation. Our society cannot survive without a robust economy. Yours is the collective challenge of leading the creation of the network of net foreign exchange earning enterprises that will dominate our economic landscape. I have challenged you before to start doing so by the year 2034. Our society cannot survive if it implodes on itself because of an impossibly large income gap, runaway poverty, or even the level of bigotry and hatred we saw on display last Wednesday at the US Capitol. Yours is the challenge of fashioning a more emotionally mature and just society. In keeping with these sentiments, I share with you a song that is very popular here in Trinidad and Tobago. While it is nationalistic in nature, I offer it as well to the non-TNT citizens in our midst, to all of Caribbean. I wish you all success and prosperity.